I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. Many of us struggle with fear and anxiety, but like in Frank Herbert's Litany Against Fear, fear is not something to be avoided, but rather something to be faced head on. Fear is a natural emotion triggered by various internal and external factors. Internal factors such as negative self-talk, trauma, and past experiences can lead to fear. External factors such as environmental stressors, social pressure, and safety concerns can also contribute to fear. While medical support may be needed when dealing with fear, it is crucial to recognize that the remedy is also within us. We can control our thoughts and emotions and actively work towards overcoming our fears. Here are some ways that we can work towards overcoming our fears. Identify and acknowledge your fear. The main step in overcoming fear is identifying and acknowledging our fears. Once we have identified our worries, we can understand why they exist and how they impact us. Next, challenge negative self-talk. Negative self-talk can be a significant contributor to fear. Never finish a negative statement, replace it immediately with a positive affirmation. Fear often arises from ignorance or because we are worrying that we might fail. We must understand that failure is an inherent part of the learning process, just as it was when we were young and learning to walk or ride a bike. Like stumbling and falling during those times, failure can be a setback, but it is not permanent. We must have the courage to get back on our feet, try again, and learn from our mistakes. With each attempt, we become more experienced and closer to success. We must approach our goals with a growth mindset, viewing obstacles and setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve. Meditation, Visualization, and Physical Activities Meditation can help you develop greater self-awareness, allowing you to recognize your thought patterns and emotions. By becoming more aware of your fear, you can work on managing it. Set aside a few minutes each day to practice meditation. Find a quiet, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed, and try to focus your attention on your breath. By focusing on your breath, you can learn to quiet your mind and reduce racing thoughts, which can contribute to feelings of fear and anxiety. Visualization can be a powerful tool to help overcome fear and achieve success. Take time each day to visualize yourself triumphing over the situation that scares you. Find a quiet and comfortable place to sit or lie down, close your eyes, and imagine yourself confidently and successfully handling the situation. It can be helpful to visualize the steps you will take and how you will feel when you achieve your goal. Make this a daily practice, such as before bed or in the morning, and remain consistent. You will be amazed of the results. When facing a fearful situation, you can use visualization to calm your mind and body. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and imagine yourself in a calm and peaceful place. You are now in control. Physical activity helps through a different mechanism. Engaging in physical activity can provide a temporary distraction from fear-inducing thoughts. Physical activity helps you to build self-confidence and improve your self-esteem. Regular exercise can improve overall health and well-being, reducing the likelihood of experiencing fear and anxiety in the first place. Walking is one of the most accessible forms of physical exercise and provides a sense of connection to something larger than oneself, which will help you alleviate feelings of isolation and fear. In addition, make use you get enough sleep and healthy food. Take time to relax and recharge. Action instead of inaction. When we feel afraid, it's natural to avoid the situation or activity causing the fear. However, avoiding the situation can actually reinforce the fear, making it even more challenging to overcome. The best way to overcome our fears is to take action. Start by creating a plan for how you will approach the situation that is causing your fear. Break it down into smaller manageable steps and take them one at a time. This can help you to build confidence and reduce your anxiety. 
Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who believe in you and your abilities. Seek mentors, coaches, or friends who can offer encouragement and guidance. Practice. Confronting fear is a skill that can be honed and improved over time, even though it may initially seem daunting and uncomfortable. Breaking the process down into smaller, more manageable steps can assist in developing your courage and self-assurance in confronting your fears. You will learn and grow by facing your fears and gaining new experiences and insights that will allow you to become more resilient. While it may necessitate perseverance and dedication, treating the process as a practice skill can provide the resilience required to persevere through obstacles. To overcome your fears, you must be willing to take risks, step out of your comfort zone, and face the unknown. However, recognizing fear as a skill allows you to cultivate the bravery necessary to take those risks and confront your fears. Practice and dedication can improve your ability to confront fear like any other skill. With each successful experience, your confidence will grow, and you will develop the necessary skills to face your fears more effectively in the future. Thank you for watching From Fear to Freedom, a guide to facing your fears with action and visualization. We hope this video has inspired and encouraged you to confront your fears. Remember that fear is a natural emotion that doesn't have to control your life. By using visualization techniques and taking action, you can overcome your fears and live a life of freedom and fulfillment. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your potential. Start taking small steps today and see how far you can go. Thank you again for watching, and we wish you all the best on your journey toward freedom from fear.